Hey everyone, welcome back to Only the Best Fantasy Novels. Today I want to talk about one of my most anticipated releases for 2024, a novel I've literally been waiting years for, and that is Play of Shadows by Sebastian de Castile. With Play of Shadows, he makes a very triumphant return to the world of the Great Coats, the land of Tristia. And the story this time follows Damla Shadimantin. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, who is basically the grandson of two of the original great coats. Um, I forgot which ones. One of them was the King's Courtesy. I remember that. Um, but yeah, anyway, he's very unlike a, the great coats, um, who he's been compared to his entire life um, as a result of his heritage. He's very much a coward. <laughs> and when he gets challenged to a legal duel, he flees and basically escapes to a troop of actors who have immunity in this um, this dukedom of Jerest, where they are. So, in fleeing perse persecution and joining this troop, he has to, he begins to basically act on stage, which is something that he did always have a calling to. And in doing so, he begins to unlock his his um his unknown Bardati powers. Um <coughs> specifically the powers of a Bardati Verista, who is a person who can sort of see into the past, see into the lives of people long dead and bring those memories up initially at first. How that plays out, read and find out. But yeah, um he begins to unlock these powers and it, as part of that, the plays that he takes part in begin to take on a whole new twist and they start to bring forth secrets, dark secrets into the light that the status quo just does not want to see revealed. Um, and yeah, that's, that's basically a summary of what's going on in this book. So, I've been waiting for years for this book and it was worth every minute of that wait. Sebastian de Castel, he already has, when he's writing the Great Coat novels at least, he already has this flamboyant, exuberant, egregious way of, of just writing their dialogue and, and their um, and, and just the books in general. And you can imagine how much more amplified that is when you're dealing with a cast of actors who, who for whose showmanship is already their bread and butter to begin with. Um, but yeah, it, it's to say it was entertaining is probably the largest understatement of the year of that will ever be said of any book. <laughs> it, it was just so much fun to read, just just so it just just a sheer enjoyment out of reading that um that writing, like the just the lines, the dialogue, the insults that are thrown are practically like a story unto themselves. The way they are, it was just so fun reading this book. <clears throat> um, at the same time, that like bombastic writing, it, it, it makes like a good juxtaposition to how dark and how um, how devious the story becomes. Because this is very much a story with a lot of tragedy, a lot of um, betrayal, there's a light splash of murder involved. Um, it's some it's some dark stuff that kind of counterbalances just the exuberance of the rest of the novel. Um, so it it makes for as much as this makes for a very fun, very swashbuckling style of read, it can also get quite heavy at times and quite especially when some significant stuff goes down and it, it forces our characters to kind of be a little more serious, a little more mature. Um, but yeah, it, it, it's a great um, it, it, it's a great juxtaposition, and it 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 just counterbalances and, and really keeps keeps things going. It, it it not only allows you to enjoy the story for what it is, but it keeps you hooked and, and keeps you quite enamored with what's happening overall. Um, one thing I did notice was like a big discussion topic 
over the course of the novel for the different characters is basically about the constraints that we place on ourselves. Both that we place on ourselves and uh, that we that we that we tell ourselves society places on us. Um, bit like the majority of these characters, they all have something tying them to their situation, constricting them, reducing them from reducing their freedoms um, in what should ostensibly be quite a freeing situation and it's something that's spoken of directly um, in one particular si situation the duke um, he loses his composure and he makes it he, he has quite a quite a bit of dialogue where he talks about the ramifications of his actions if he were to do certain things and it it makes it clear that, like, so in some cases, even though we tell ourselves we have all this freedom, when you truly think about it, we all form prisons of our surroundings and uh, with these constraints, real or imagined, that we place on ourselves. So that, that was kind of interesting to see, like, discussed and play out in different situations over the course of the novel. Um, what what your thoughts are on that, I think is something that you can kind of internalize on your own, and and yeah, and it kind of makes you start to think of your situation and where, and what are the constraints you place on yourself that you, that you may not, even realize you're doing. But yeah, um, but yeah, that, <laughs> that that's that's just the scene. That's enough of the serious stuff first and foremost this is very much of just a fun action-packed romp start to finish um just <laughs> i can't keep, i can't stop talking about this dialogue i just it, it it it's all driven by the dialogue it's all driven by the writing the the, the exuberant bombastic writing it's just flat by and free nobody does nobody writes the way sebastian de castell writes these characters at least um, it, it's it's going to rub off on you, especially if you're a fan of the series. You you can't help enjoying this book. Um, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about this. I, I'll stop there because otherwise I'll just keep going on and on and on about how much I like, I love, I enjoy the writing, the prose, etc., the dialogue, and all of that. Um, but yeah, a very spectacular introduction to um to a brand new world. A brand new setting in the Great Coats world from Sebastian de Castel. When I read the prelude to this novel, Crucible of Chaos, with um, good lord, I forgot his name, but he was he was not a stellar character. And, um, uh, um, the King's Crucible. I, I can't remember his name right now, but, but when I read it with him, I remember thinking, good God, I really hope this th this book and this new series would be, w w would follow along the same lines, because I completely enjoyed that book, and the fact that it was a prelude, and the blurb for this book seemed to take, seemed to head off in a completely direct, different direction, I honestly couldn't see how they tied together, but they work, they they. Like um, all my hopes were, were unfound. Were all, all my fears were unwarranted, and um, it just works. An epic new novel, an epic new novel in what I suspect is quickly, once we have more entries at least, is going is quickly going to become one of my favorite series of all time. And yeah, that's it. Are you guys excited for this book for this new entry to the Great Code Saga? Let me know in the comments, and if you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching.